Hi there and welcome back to number one geek. It is I, Saz. And we are here with some more Kenshi. We're uh, following the... Uh, <laughs> we're following the uh, rather strange adventures of Mitsubishi Shogun, Toyota Corolla and Hobbs. And uh, we are doing all right for the moment, I believe, if I remember in the game. We've been uh, sorting out our own inventory and selling off stuff. And we've now got some decent weapon. Well, when I say decent, I don't mean terribly decent. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to increase our membership. So let's put them back on their jobs. And they should all head out. To this mine here. And fill up and see what we can do about getting some more members. We will need to take a trip out to uh, try and improve ourselves up. But the other main uh, item that we need to work out is getting a research bench sorted in our little uh, housing area. Go on, Hobbs. Now, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to make the next character called Calvin. So we've got Calvin and Hobbs. It's just the way I'm, 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 I'm being. So. But, uh, guys, I know. Uh, clapping on the old uh, mine over there. And uh, we'll see what happens when we're able to gain a bit more money. Right, so we filled ourselves up full of uh, lovely items. Now what we're going to do is we're going to gain enough for at least 3,000 to see if there's anyone that we can hire to bring into the party. As quickly as we can, of course. Right, Mitsubishi, you can go over and talk Let's do business. Now. I know we'll be needing those sooner or later, but we're going to end up passing out all our stuff. Quick look at the weapons. Uh, that's going to take up all our money for the moment. Let, let's have a quick look now. Old Mitsubishi. See if there's anybody worth talking to. Let's talk to her first. With the hounds, apparently. Okay. Right, I don't think he's going to be too happy. Uh, what about this guy? Right, so no one, no one here is friendly enough to uh, do it. With. Whatever's going on here. So uh, let's have a look now. Back at our home base. Into the build mode, uh, tech a small research bench. Um, I've forgotten how you turn things. Oh, that's it, it's the, the arrow buttons. Right, so what do we now need? Oh, I'm not meant to do that. Uh, 
Right, so we need building materials. So we, Mitsubishi can go back. Have a chat with the uh, farmer, and hopefully we'll have free building materials to pick up. Oop, don't want that small barrel. Oop. Come on. Okay, so one, two, ah. See if I can arrange this. Let me just pop that on the floor for the moment. Pick up the food queue. Okay, so we got the three now. I'll be done. Uh, right, so. Building up the research bench. Okay. You know, all the get all the basics out the way first. Okay, so we've got gear storage, item storage, public sales, storage boxes, farming, and storage boxes. So this is give us somewhere to put our stuff, really. So we'll do that, and whilst we're at it, we'll get Mitsubishi to uh, do some work. Okay, so that's just done with all the uh, the items. So what I can do now, if we look at the buildings. Uh, we can build a small shack as usual, uh, camp beds and stuff like that. We do need some stuff for that. But now we can start building vegetable farms, water tanks and wells. We won't be able to do it here though, if you may notice. If I put, try to put a vegetable farm in here, it's green or, or red because obviously we're in a town area. I'm not too concerned, honestly, about... Um, can I put the stone mine out here if I... It's still all too close. We have to get quite a distance away, I think. How far? No, I see. I think we've got to. I've got to do some mining first, or some prospecting to find some stone first. Uh, now, storage-wise, we do have like animal feeders. Bolt boxes, armor storage, flower storage, food store, general storage boxes, metal chests. Now, what we want to try get ourselves up to, <coughs> if we look at the um, if we look at the research station now, just move out of that. Uh, show research. What we really want to do is, uh, is it industry. No. We effectively want boxes where we can put ore into, but we'll probably need a bigger area. So my next idea is, well, I wanted to go for this long house, but it looks like you can't actually buy that. So the next best thing is going to be this one, which is 12,000. Or the other option that I have, is the one right close to the bar here, is for 1050. Um, I may do that one simply because of its proximity to... The money effectively but this place here looks actually quite decent in size so i might be able to get more done or more items in here but that's not what we're concentrating on right now because we don't have the money 
What we do have money for, though, is to get ourselves some backpacks. Now, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to have to go to Squin, I think. Because we can't get backpacks from here. So Squin is the only other town, apart from that lone shack, which I don't think we'll visit just yet. Uh, so if I right-click on there, our group now, we'll start heading that way. Now, the other thing I can do is put everybody into this mode here, which means that they all go at the same speed. Because some people are actually faster than others. As you may notice, we run fast forward, just so that it uh, doesn't take us so long. Uh, where's Hobbs? Let me just uh, move everybody here. Put everyone to the same speed. Get the map back up and off we go again. Now this time we should be going at Hobbs speed. So we'll keep an eye out for any bandits because we're not strong enough just yet to deal with them. You can see there's the buildings over there. Unfortunately, we got here at night. So I think everything's shut. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait. Let's find a a bar in here and see what's going on. Six thousand cats. Okay. It's got some ninjas. Need recruits. Maybe got any skills? Medic. Okay. Six thousand cats. Okay, so the guys in here are 6,000, so that's where we've got to go next if we want to start hiring more people in. I believe I saw, yeah, I did. There's another bar here, there's two bars. There's competing bars. Let's see if there's anybody cheaper. Okay. Okay, well, he's a, a racist. Well, this is the same guy, isn't it? Yeah, 6,000 cats, don't have enough. So everybody's next level on this one, I think. So we need to uh, sort it out. Okay, what we'll do is we will wait till morning. Well, it's morning, and we've particularly been uh, approached by many different uh, warriors, and they despise us, apparently. So first things first, let's get our guys into what we know is... Oh, no, tell a light. That is not there. Okay, well, there's an armor store here. There's a general store there. Now what I can do is I can press the Alt button to find all the places. Okay. Oh. 
Let's, uh, oh, we'll go. We'll go into here first <coughs> and see what we can get. Show me what you got. Not a lot, by the looks of it. We've got some, maybe some of these research books so that we can start carry on, but let's not worry about that at the moment. He obviously is not uh, doing any decent stuff. What's that other place? The sword merchant. Okay. Let's trade. Right. Here is some armor. Now, I want to understand, and you weren't really from standard grade or up, really. Shoddy grade isn't that great. High grade. So, if you notice the cut resistance there, goes from 22% to 52%. Unfortunately, it's also 13,000. So we're looking for probably about standard grade at the moment. However, armoured rags, now that's still too expensive. That's what we've got here. I think shoddy grade is all that we're going to be able to afford right now. Okay, so let us work this out. Let's get a leather shirt. Get you a leather shirt. Can we not afford that? Oh no, I can't afford that. Okay. So yeah, we, we can only afford shoddy grade stuff. And he seems to have armour anyway, so let's not worry too much about him. Let's give him the heart protector for the short term. Some shoddy grade leather pants, because it's better than nothing. Be able to afford to give her a top just yet. Let's give her some prototype leather pants. Okay, what we'll do, I think we'll get. Him there, give her that. Let's put the armor on him. The nice thing is it automatically uh, pops the armor on. Now, have we got enough for some shoddy boots at least? Because we've got. Prototype grade. Okay. And some prototype grade there. So at least we're doing all right. However, we still don't have any backpacks.
That's making life a little bit difficult. Now, I'm kind of wondering here if it might be an idea for me to find a um, a close by vein of something and start working here for the short term. So we can just have a quick look around for veins of ore. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, so what I'll do, get the jobs, switch those off, and then shift click and take that iron resource there. So they should now start running out. Should look a bit more armed now. Right, so one thing I've got to be careful about here is that, oh, because we were on a crossroads, it's more than likely that um, we're going to end up dealing with bandits. We're not that strong, so we need to, as soon as we see them, we need to make a run back for it where the guards over here should be able to deal with them on our behalf. But uh, I'll, uh, if anything happens, you'll obviously know about it. And here we go. We are already crapped in on some uh, hungry bandits, and we are going to run. Right, so <laughs> the uh, the guards dealt with them quite sufficiently. So what we're going to do now is we are going to look at their stuff. Okay, he's still alive. Okay, so he's still unconscious. He's unconscious. So what we'll do is we'll take his stuff. He's playing dead. He's unconscious. Oh, hello. He's unconscious as well. So. All right, let's get a little bit of... Uh, So Bishy's got that. Are we able to fit anything else in? No, it doesn't look like that way. But we will take... Okay. He's dying, mate. Oh, well. Well, they're, oh. their deaths are our, our game, basically. What we're going to do now is we're just going to run in here. And sell off all these bits and pieces. 
Yeah, let's do business. So we'll sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. We might as well sell the iron that we've had so far. Get that all sold. I mean, they're not making too much. I mean, it's 26 for the rags. And what? 49. But it's still enough for us to uh, to work on there. Let's just do a medic thing so that we can uh, heal up our characters. Because it looks like uh, Hobbs took something in the right leg. Select our group. And stick their jobs back on. Where's he going? He's going for a jog, I think. Right, back to a bit of more mining. Right, well, having uh, managed to gain about uh, 7,000, uh, I forgot the word called, caps, I think they are, uh, we are able to um, have a look and see who we can talk to. Uh, Shekwari Flat Skin Diggers. Check the Scullies. Uh. <laughs> right, so Kang is now a partner. Now let's have a look at him and see what he's got. Right, he's uh, he's doing all right actually. So uh, what we'll do is we'll have Kang. Honestly, I don't see any reason why we should stay around here where bandit attacks tend to be more likely. So what I think I will do is we will head ourselves back up to the hub. And make sure that the whole team is going the same speed. Because Kang obviously is going a lot faster than everybody else. And we'll get everyone back to the main section. Well, the hub. Yes, it's called the hub. Yes, yes, get it right. It's house. Looks like we're being attacked by a lone bandit. I'm not too sure if there's anybody else around, but he seems to uh, want to have a fight. So, there's more of us than him, so I think we're going to probably, there we go, deal him a bit of a crush. Oh, hello. We'll take our guys and we'll carry on back to the hub. Obviously keeping an eye out just in case there's any more bandits running around. Okay, getting back. We seem to be okay. But what I want to do is I want to just check this uh, shack out just in case it might be selling anything that we might be able to use. Let's have a look at you. How can I help? Let's trade. Right. They're definitely more weapons orientated, aren't they? Now, how many of these can we get? One. Two. Okay, so we've got three research books, which is going to help us. Some bounties, some food. We're all right for food at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go back up to the... Uh, To our tower of power and click in there and hopefully yep all our guys are going now two things before we end the session 
We have a lot of meat. That we can uh, cook. At the base. So let's get everyone in here. Okay, so. Now who picked up the books? Ah, there we go. So if we put those three books in there, now we can show the research we can do. So simple training, do lockpick training, uh, clothing manufacturer, basic weapon smithing, iron plates, improved stone mining, cooking and baking. Uh, indoor lighting might be useful. Makeshift walls, crafting, fabric manufacture, uh, and a small house. Let's try fabric manufacture because if we can make out, start making our own stuff. Hmm, tangs. On that, like no one's business. Now, Mitsubishi, you have some. Uh, Drive meat to deal with. I think is I might leave, be able to leave those there as a small thing. So, working on the fabric manufacturing, working on, uh, well, we've already done that, we've got our food, so we're just slowly building ourselves up. A little bit disappointed that we won't be able to find any sort of backpacks, but uh, we're just going to have to do some exploring and see if we can find a, a town or a city that will be able to provide us with those sort of materials. But that's it for the moment. So I uh, just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section just to let me know uh, what I'm doing wrong so I can improve my content for you. And don't forget, of course, there's a subscribe button if this is the sort of thing that you want to keep going for. So that's the fabric manufacturer done. And that's me saying goodbye and thanks for watching. Cheerio.